Hello, all my H2 Minute peeps. Uh, my name is Tom Hubbard, and this is our first uh, research update video. Uh, and with these videos, I'm just going to be covering recent um, hydrogen studies, uh, previous hydrogen studies, and just um, um, updates uh, um, about the hydrogen industry. With these um, videos, I hope you enjoy it. It's just going to be me talking to you. Uh, I get to look at uh, hydrogen studies every day. This is what I what I do <laughs> and uh, and I find a, a new one almost every night and so uh, with this first one uh, we're going to be looking over a a study that just came out uh, December 2018 and the study um, uh, is over a, a high fat diet a non non alcoholic fatty liver disease model uh, and uh, what's really cool about the study is that um, there's multiple different ways that you can produce hydrogen rich water uh, nowadays, and uh, this study actually investigates um, a couple different type of hydrogen, uh, um, per, or I should say, different um, ways of producing hydrogen water, and seeing how um, um, it might actually affect this disease model. So, for example, uh, the study actually used uh, electrolyzed reduced water, or um, ERW, or electrolyzed alkaline water, and this is similar to a water ionizer. Um, and uh, it also used regular water, and it also used two different types of, of hydrogen-infused uh, water, if you will, um, infusing it in a, in a different way that doesn't use, um, well, infusing it in the water uh, differently that won't affect the pH of the water or any other characteristics of it. And so um, in this study, um, um, in this study, something that was interesting was um, the electrolyzed reduced water was at a pH of 11 um, and it had a hydrogen concentration of 0 0.2 ppm or 0 0.2 milligrams per liter. Uh, also, um, <clears throat> also, they actually used uh, two different types of hydrogen water. Uh, one had a lower uh, hydrogen concentration and uh, the low concentration for um, the hydrogen rich water was uh, 0 0.3 ppm and the high concentration uh, was 0 0.8 ppm. And so one of the uh, interesting things about this study is that uh, they found out they found out that electrolyzed reduced water that had a hydrogen concentration of 0 0.2 uh, ppm or you know, milligrams per liter, uh, which is equivalent. We can talk about that in another video. Um, but uh, they found out that it didn't have any um, significant effects on the disease model. Uh, um, whatsoever really and it was pretty much equal to regular drinking water um, the same effects regular drinking water had on the disease model and so they also looked at uh, a lower concentration they'll get the lower concentration and see if um, it would lower concentration hydrogen water actually and see if it actually was going to induce a therapeutic effect on this disease model and notice that it had minimal to uh, no therapeutic effect either uh, but it was only uh, the high con high uh, concentration um, H2 water uh, that was I think at a 0 0.8 um, milligram per liter or ppm that actually induced a significant therapeutic effect and so uh, at the end of this study what was could be concluded was that regardless of whether you're producing um, you know your hydrogen water from a, an ionizer from a, uh, a electrolyzed reduced water generator if you will uh, or if you're infusing hydrogen gas directly into water via bubbling or um, or from an HIM, um, in hydrogen fusion machine, um, having the correct or having a therapeutic concentration uh, in that water depth that's going to induce a, 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 you know, that's going to induce a therapeutic effect is very important. So um, there is or there is appearing uh, to be a, a lower uh, threshold or a, a lower level that um, that's not conducive to uh, producing therapeutic effects uh, to, the human, to the human body, or I should say, in this particular study. Um, and so it's very important that if you're you know, using a water ionizer or if you're um, infusing um, hydrogen gas into your water a different way, um, that you try to make sure uh, uh, that the concentration of that water um, is is at a therapeutic level. And right now, based on uh, MHI, Molecular Hydrogen Institute, um, they deem 0 0.6 uh, 
or 0, 0 0.5 to 1.6 milligrams per liter or ppm uh, is kind of what's seen throughout scientific studies with humans. Uh, that's that's actually um, uh, uh, that's actually going to be able to induce a therapeutic uh, effect to the human body. And so, uh, just to read you guys the conclusion of this study and 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 kind of um, wrap this up, um, the conclusion says H two is the therapeutic agent of electrolyzed alkaline water and attenuates high fat. High fat diet induce non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in mice, and so uh, that's pretty powerful um, because there are there's been um, so many different uh, theories around um, water ionizers and uh, um, you know electrolytes reduce water and the reasons why it's beneficial. Uh, whether it's the ORP, which by the way the ORP in this for this water was negative four ninety five. Um, um, or whether it's the water being microclustered or all these different other theories about the water. Um, this, this study actually showed that the H2 that was dissolved in the water was responsible for the results. And so that's the first video. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and like my little update. Um, this is actually going to be in the description. Uh, uh, um, the study is actually going to be in the description. And so you'll be able to see when it was published, the actual title of the study and the authors and you know just a little shout out uh, uh the founder of molecular hydrogen um, institute tyler baron is actually one of the authors of this study which is pretty cool um and uh um other than that uh i'll catch you in the next one all righty later